Welcome back to my channel and today wig is going to be the um, Caribbean is by Ultra and it's gonna be a um, L part lace and I got it in the color um, LT1 slash 30 basically what that mean is um, the the tip is going to be blonde that's it um, recently I became obsessed with curly hair and I got I'm pretty sure um, I got two videos with curly hair, but they half wig. So I was just like, and I can't even blend my hair with it. That's what you're supposed to do with half wig, blend your hair with it. And I can't even do that with my hair with these type of wigs. I'm like, why you keep buying all this half wig when you can't even blend your hair with it? I stopped playing and got me a lace wig with the curly hair, which make more sense. So let's pop this thing up. Well, before we do that, um, as always, I know you guys can see my foundation getting strong in this one. Um, it got two combs in the front, like an a size for your um, right here, size burn, if they call that in ladies. So you got two of that, and then you got one in the back, and then your um, adjustable stripe, which I don't use none of those stuff, you guys. To be honest, because of the wig grip, it, um, suppose you know all this stuff is to pretty much secure the wig for you, and the wig grip, and the wig grip does that for me. So I don't use none of this stuff. Let's put this wig on while I'm talking so damn much. Now, as you can see, look how. It laid down so flat without me even trying. That is because of the wig whip. But that's not even, this video is not even about the wig whip. I only had a video for that, okay? This one is about this wig. So let's focus on this wig. The curl pattern, you guys. The curl pattern is basically the same as Shawnee. It's another half wig. I did a review on that also. And if you already have that wig or seen that wig, the curl pattern is the same thing. No different okay so as far as the wig concern um the tip right here is a little you know like thinning out i do not know if i want to cut it yet or do i want to go wear it out for a day to see how it turned out once it gets some you know some humidity in it so with curly wig what i have learned is that um once you go outside with it the humid uh, the humidity hit and it make it like more puffy and make it look more natural and all that good stuff but, um the color with the wig being you know holding the wig the color look a little off because it's just, it's like black and then without even fading into nothing it's blonde i did not like that that's what i was seeing but i don't know once you put the wig on it kind of you know it kind of go it kind of flow it doesn't look odd no more Am I tripping? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? As far as when the wig was in my hand versus why it's on now, how the color kind of look better now. Let's look at the back because that's what really was throwing me off was the back. But yeah, I kind of like the wig. I'm not going to lie. I like it. I really like it. It... It, I don't have to blend my hair with it. I don't have to do too much with it. And um, I'm feeling curly hair for the moment. So I like it. It's cute. Um, the shedding, I'm not seeing no shedding. Um, I guess the frizziness, that's what you were about. I'm not seeing no frizziness. But as I said, I didn't go outside with it yet. And um, as far as fullness, I think me not being going outside with it yet, I think it's pretty full compared to the other two weeks which was Waxy and Shawnee um it did not get full until I got outside with it it's not heavy um it's pretty light in my opinion and it's not hot okay so reason being if it's not heavy then it's not hot it's extremely light so you can definitely um you can definitely walk this wig in the summertime so yeah that was all for this video um comment down below if you have any question 
and um, I will catch you guys in the next one.